Hey, fourth grade saxophones. Hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to your second online band lesson. Um, I miss you. Hope the week's going well. Um, okay, so today we are going to start out with just our neck and our mouthpiece uh, with our ligature and our reed on there ready to go. All right. <clears throat> so if you don't have it out yet, this part, I want you to pause the video and just get out your neck, your mouthpiece and your reed. Awesome. So once you have that together, first, let it, why don't we just check our uh, reed and our mouthpiece. Look at your reed right now. Make sure that it doesn't have any chips in it. All right. Make sure that nothing is bent or broken on it. All right. Then the next thing I want you to do is take a look at uh, your ligature. Let's all make sure our ligature is on the same, the screws are on the same side as the reed itself. All right. Check to make sure you're ligature is low enough, we should be able to see part of this curved piece of the mouthpiece, all right, on the back where the of where the, um, the reed is. Just make sure you can see all that, um, and then check your reed, make sure it's low enough so that you can see that hair of black over the top of the mouthpiece, okay, and there's no chips or anything in there. Cool. So first thing we're gonna do, guys, is just make sure that our embouchure is looking good, so all these muscles right in our face. All right, so we've been practicing this in front of the mirror. I want you to continue to do that just so we can make sure we're not puffing any our cheeks at all. All right, also I have, um, I talked to one of my former students, her name's Olivia, and she's an amazing saxophone player, and she is becoming a band director, and she was giving me some really awesome tips for saxophone when you're beginning. So I wanna share some of those with you. So she was saying that one thing we really wanna do is when we put it in our mouth, so let's put our reed right on our bottom lip and roll it into our mouth. Our top teeth go right on top. Good. We wanna think of resting our head on the top of our mouthpiece. So those teeth, your top teeth, are gonna actually like kinda of be pushing down on that on the top of that mouthpiece quite a bit. And it should actually be pretty even. So she also said, think of your mouth as like a rubber band, right? So that it's all equal pressure around that mouthpiece, all around your mouth, okay? So think of, if you were to put a rubber band, all right, that was fairly tight over your mouthpiece, it would be equal uh, amounts of pressure all around your mouth, right? So I want you to put your mouthpiece in your mouth and think about that. And think about like resting those top teeth on that mouthpiece. Cool, and then let's go ahead and get a good sound out. Awesome, so that's something that I need to work on too. I noticed that I don't really have equal pressure, all right? I feel like I push too much on my bottom my bottom lip into my reed, um, into the mouthpiece, but that's not what we wanna do. So I'm gonna also work on this, all right? So we're gonna work on having even pressure all around the mouthpiece. Awesome, making sure we're not puffing our cheeks. Also, we wanna make sure that our head is nice and straight. We're looking straight ahead and that this is coming out right out from our, our mouth. Keep your chin nice and flat. And then the corners are nice and firm. We're not like smiling, but they're like straight line, nice and firm. Awesome. Cool. So now I want you to pause the video and go ahead and put your whole saxophone together. So I already have mine ready to go. Put this neck right on my saxophone. Good. So first thing, let's just check our posture, making sure that that saxophone can come off to the side of our body, right? It's going to go to our right side. Make sure it's not hitting the chair at all. So it's best to have a chair without arms so it doesn't hit the chair. Good, the next thing, we're gonna make sure that our neck strap is high enough. I don't wanna see any of you guys with your neck strap way down here. This part of it should not be way down here. Like, that's even too low for me, all right? We need to be pulling those up. For a lot of you guys, you're gonna have to pull it up quite a bit. So you might need your parents to help you. Please pull up your neck strap. The weight of the whole saxophone needs to be on the neck, all right? You should like be able to let go of your saxophone, no hands, and have it all resting on your neck, right? And then these hands are just going to 
your hands are need to be able to, to move on these keys, right? On the thumb, thumb rest, it's just like helping you to control it. It's You don't want the weight of the saxophone resting on your thumb, all right? The weight of the saxophone is resting on that neck, on that neck, all right? So that's what the neck strap is for. So we're looking straight ahead. Let me actually bring this up a little so that you can see me a little better. So looking straight ahead, I want to, right now, it's like, I had to turn my head. So I don't want to do that. I want my head to be straight. So that means I need to move and adjust my mouthpiece and my neck so that my head can be straight. All right, just like that. Ah. Let me fix that, hold on. Okay guys, sorry about that. I had an instrument issue. Okay, so <clears throat> um, why don't we start with we've been like getting our posture good let's start out with our fingers on our keys so we can play a b all right so this was the first note we learned so all we need is our thumb on our black rubber part remember mine's different mine looks a little different but thumb right on the black circular part and then pointer finger on this key right here remember that top one we skip and come right to the second one all right thumb pointer for our b Good, sitting up nice and tall, making sure that with our neck strap, we wanna have our mouthpiece go right to our bottom lip. Looking straight ahead, it goes right to your bottom lip and there's no weight sitting on my thumb, on my bottom thumb, okay? It's all sitting on the neck. This is just controlling it and moving it around, okay? Awesome. And now let's think about what my student Olivia Told me, making sure that we are like resting our head, all right, on these top teeth, right on the on the top of the mouthpiece, all right. So let's all play a B together, all right. Here we go, making sure we're not puffing our cheeks. Air straight through it. Ready? Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go to the A first and second finger. Remember, skipping the little one. Skip that one to the next one, awesome. And why don't we have a contest, see who can hold this longer. Here we go. Take a deep breath. Two, ready. practice that so that you can beat me. All right, that's your challenge. Okay, and then let's do the G. So one, two, three, adding that ring finger, keeping our thumb on that back black circle. Here we go. Pretend like your embouchure is that rubber band right around the mouthpiece. Here we go, ready on the G and... All right, so first thing today, I want to start out with a review um, of one of the songs you were practicing last time. So this is on page four, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's give it a try, guys. Okay, Mary Had a Little Lamb. So it's going to start with our B. B, A, G, A, B, 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 rest. All right, let's try playing this together, starting on our B, sitting up nice and tall. Here we go, two, ready, and. Awesome, nice job guys. Okay, now let's go over to page five. This is our new page. Okay, so notice in the book, we are gonna start 
using the same notes that we have been using, except now they're gonna start putting them into a musical staff and we're gonna start getting used to reading those notes in music. All right, so the cool thing is you guys have already had lots of practice reading music, all right, with Mrs. Ferrigno in music class. All right, so we are gonna now take all those skills that you guys have been developing with her and we're gonna start transferring them and working on learning them on saxophone. Okay, so on page five, look at number 1.1, first note. Your first note is a B, all right, B. So it's gonna show you, it's in the blue box, it says new note, and then it says B. And then next to it, it actually shows you your fingering, right? That's a fingering chart for saxophone. All right, and telling you to put your finger right up here at the top for the B. Okay, so notice next to that is a musical staff. So it has the five lines. There are five lines as, that are part of the musical staff. All right, so for that B, it is on, if you count up from the bottom, we always count from the bottom, one, two, three. It is on one, two, three, that third line. So it is in the very middle of that staff. That's where the B is. And for saxophone, for this B right here, all right, that's always where it's gonna B in the on the staff, okay? So whenever you see that B, this is where our fingers go. Okay, so why don't we give that one a try? So notice how it's a circle and it's empty inside. So when it's empty inside and it doesn't have any lines going up or down, it just means it's a whole note and a whole note gets four beats. So we're gonna hold that out for four beats, even though in that part of the song, it's actually telling you to hold it a little longer as a long tone. But for just now together, we're gonna play it with four beats, and then where it says rest, we're gonna hold that for four beats of silence. All right, here we go. Let's play that song all together from the beginning. One, two on the B, and and rest, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. I think I might have done an extra one. Did I do an extra one? Oops, hopefully you counted better than I did. All right, so notice at the very end of that song, um, we have this blue arrow and it says final bar line. All right, anytime in music we've got, you know, that line and then a darker line like that, that just means that it's the end of the song. Okay, it's just like in a sentence when you have a period at the end, it's just telling you when you get to that period that it's the end of the sentence. So that final bar line just means it's the end of the song. Okay, cool, guys, let's jump down to 1.2, four in a row, four in a row. Okay, so it's the same note. It's still on the B, the third line up or the middle of the staff. Um, but now the notes are colored in and they have a line uh, going down, all right? It doesn't matter if the line's going up or down, that is a quarter note, okay? Those are quarter notes in there. So every quarter note gets one beat. One beat for a quarter note. So why don't we try that one, number 1.2, four in a row, on the quarter notes. <clears throat> Here we go, so sitting up nice and tall, not puffing our cheeks, making sure that mouthpiece can go right to our bottom lip. I'm gonna turn this way as I play it, and I promise I'll count better this time. And so that you can see the angle of how this is going into my mouth, okay? Here we go, from the beginning on our B, all B with quarter notes. One, two, ready, and. And one, two, three, four. Okay, neat. So now look at the next one down, 1.3, second note. So all we're gonna do is add our next finger. You've already learned this note, the A, right? Our thumb stays in the same place in the back. It's kind of like the B, we just add the next one. Remember, skip the little cute one. All right, now for the A, notice what it looks like on the musical staff. So when A, is not on a line, right? So there's also four spaces in a musical staff. So there's five lines, and then in between those lines, there are four spaces. Okay, so the A is on the second space. So we count from the bottom, one, two. That is always 
where this A is going to be, okay, on that space. Cool, so why don't we try doing the same thing we were just doing with the B, but now on the A. So we're gonna hold that for a whole note, and then we'll do a whole rest, whole note, whole rest, whole note. Here we go, starting on our A from the beginning. 1.3, one, two, ready, and. One, two, count in your head, and. Awesome, nice job. Okay, next one down to 1.4, four, four more. Same thing as we did before, but now with the A, let's give it a try. Cool. Here we go, from the beginning of that line, 1.4, four more. We're gonna keep working on trying to split up these notes so that they're not, you know, all kind of running together. All right, remember, think about rubber band right around that mouthpiece. Four more, one, two on the A, and. that one there. Um, I am really cleanly splitting up the notes. Okay, that is called tonguing. This is something that's really tricky teaching online um, because it's so much easier to be there in person with you guys. So this is something I just want to introduce to you right now. We're going to start working on it, but um, you're just going to do your best because next time I see you in person, we'll be able to really start working on it. Um, but I want you to start it now. So tonguing, that just means your tongue actually has to touch the mouthpiece and the reed, right? So your tongue, I like to put like, uh, see if I can get close enough so you can see this. Okay, so <clears throat> when I am playing, I'm gonna actually touch my tongue to the reed, all right? And it's not like the tip, tip of the reed. It's like this part right here of the reed that my tongue is gonna touch. Okay, so. It's like right here, and I'm gonna start it out with my tongue touching it, and then I'm gonna move my tongue away. Ta, ta, and let the air go through. Say ta, ta, ta. Feel how the air, ta, ta, comes out of your mouth really quick. Ta, when you say ta. Good, so that's what's gonna happen. Ta, ta, ta. But you're not actually gonna stick your tongue out of your mouth, all right? So when I try doing this, I'm gonna ta, 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 ta. I want you to try that with me. This is an A. I'm playing this on an A. Ta, 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 ta. This is called tonguing, tonguing. All right, this is something that's really tricky. We will keep on working on this, um, but go ahead and I want you to give it a try now. It's, it's something that we will never stop working on, all right? Okay, so continuing to think about tonguing and work on that. Why don't we go down to the next one, 1 1.5, up and down. So this one is going to start on the A. All right, we play four A's in a row. Then we have those quarter rests. And then we're going to go to the B, four B's in a row. Let's give it a try, guys. All right, from the beginning. Here we go. One, two, on the A. Ready, go. One, Two, try tonguing and one, two, back to A and awesome. All right, let's go down to the next one. This time we're going to air band this one, 1 1.6, all mixed up. All right, because this one changes notes a lot more than the other one. So say it with me first and then we'll play it. Here we go. Beginning, ready, and A. A, B, B, one, two, three, four, B, B, A, A, one, two, three, four, A, B, A, A. All right, especially work on that last measure. If you need to pause the video so you can practice your fingers first, do it. That'll help a lot. All right, and then when you're ready, here we go. Play it with me. One, 
two, 1.6, and one, two, look ahead, and Nice job, guys. Cool. So this week, keep practicing. Keep working on that tonguing. Um, play that whole page on uh, page five um, and getting used to reading those notes. One other quick thing. I have created a Google survey to find out if there's anything that you are missing that you need. Like maybe you forgot your book at school. Maybe you forgot your folder. Um, I want to know that stuff. Maybe you don't really have many reads left. I need to know that. Okay, so that survey is um, beneath the title of this video. So look down below this video, there's the title and then underneath it, there should be some place there that has this link to this Google uh, Google form that I've created. Okay, please fill it out. I just need to fill it out one time. Um, do it right now so you don't forget. Um, that's gonna help me a lot. All right guys, I hope you have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.